Red Wolf TV brings you a sneak preview review video of DeepFire's new M4. DeepFire's new M4 is styled after the M4A1 Armalite carbine. It features a metal body and a metal front rail, and comes in two different variants. One in black, and one in what Deepfire calls Dark Earth, but we point out it's anything but, as you can see next to the tan cardboard box. In fact, it's more of a light grey with a slight green tint, which means it actually sits quite well against ACU. The markings on the gun feature the Deepfire trademark on the front rail system, and the deep fire trademark and logo on the metal body. The black metal body has a fantastic finish. It's very smooth and highly defined. With similar quality on the front rail system, in fact with a slightly higher definition with a matte finish. As the operator, one of the first things you notice when you pick up this weapon is a distinct lack of wobble found with many M4 receivers. With the exception of the plastic buttstock, which is typically wobbly for this kind of weapon. The rest of it is absolutely rock solid. And I really mean that. There is no give whatsoever between the upper and lower receiver. And the front rail, similar idea. Even the iron sight and the outer barrel, all of it. It feels like one piece of metal. You may have noticed that the plastic buttstock is of the crane stock variety. This offers a tri-stick battery storage solution right out of the box. The weapon comes with a Dean's plug connector, and in the box includes an additional connector and heat shrink for installation. This gives the weapon the capability to store specifically an 8.4 volt tri-stick battery right out of the box. The battery itself is not included. Bear in mind that this means that any other battery solution needs to either be of the type to install inside the stock tube, or something else creatively added to the outside, such as a PEQ battery. The front rail sits flush with the rail top, top receiver, allowing for the installation of aftermarket accessories such as scopes and flashlights and lasers. The carry handle is made in all metal and is very solid. It includes an iron sight which is very stiff. It includes correction for elevation and windage against the front post sight which is also heavily securely fitted. Although not immediately noticeable, the weapon does have a slight air of eccentricity around some of its parts, including the metal medieval style flash hider, and it includes the 416 style pistol grip. It is made of plastic, but it is high quality, giving it a comfortable ergonomic grip without being too flashy, or destroying the aesthetic of the M4A1 look. Testing it on an 8.4 volt battery, we found that it ran very consistently at 380 FPS. And bearing in mind that it was only running on an 8.4, the rate of fire is actually surprisingly decent, to such a point that if you did decide to upgrade to a higher voltage battery, you'd get very impressive rates of fire without having to go anywhere near LiPo territory. Most of all, possibly the most distinctive feature of this weapon, although not outwardly noticeable, is the system of PTW styled hop-up unit. The downside to this unit is of course that the, the hop-up adjust cannot be reached through the breech, but instead is applied by Allen key inside the magwell. We do make a note to use this. The default setting for the hop-up is off out of the box of course, but you will find it a little stiff in the beginning. Don't worry about it, it just comes out of the factory that way. After you start to use it, it'll begin to loosen up, but more importantly, it won't completely loosen up because this is the key feature of the hop-up adjust. In this weapon, the hop-up is incredibly stable, no matter what kind of shooting you put it through. This, in combination with the weapon's already fairly impressive rate of fire out of the box, means that you can put mag after mag of BBs through this thing, and it will remain absolutely consistent every time. For a more comprehensive written review, or even if you want to get your hands on one of these, do check out our website at www.redwolfairsoft.com.